Hi, my name is Justin Gould, and uh, I'm one of the owners of Steamboat Wharf Marina with my partner, Andy. Okay, and what is Andy's last name? Spinelli. Over the last five years, we've grown it from having 20 slips, and today we have about 100 slips. We have the boat storage yard, which is in full effect with all the snow and ice that we have right now. But we have a uh, full service department with two full-time mechanics, where we do everything from engine repair to boat maintenance, shrink wrapping, bottom painting. We also uh, have a couple other companies that work out of the site. One's a boat hauling company called the Boat Haulers. Okay. One's a mooring service company, which is owned by Andy Spinelli, which is called Dock Marine Services, where they service all the moorings in town. We also have a dock construction business, where we, uh, we built all the docks at the marina that you see here, and that's kind of grown into building docks for other marinas and yacht clubs, as well as uh, waterfront property owners. How did you get to um, be involved in this? Is this something you've always done and Hull's, you know, just a new location or is it something brand new for you? No, it's something brand new for uh, myself. Andy, um, who owns Arkham Rain Services, has, uh, you know, started that business probably 15 years ago or more and um, kind of okay. grew that from grassroots company to having five or six hundred customers and I started working with Andy and we were kind of thinking about how we could grow the business and diversify it and it kind of grew into uh, putting our eyes on this property and digging a little bit and finding out what the status of it was and a couple of years later the town uh, put this property out to, uh, to bid and we were chosen as a developer to uh, develop the property to use as a marina and to construct this building um, to use as a boat yard and a full service marina. That's kind of where we're at today. We finally, you know, we got the building up, which was quite an undertaking. And hey, how long did it actually take? The permitting process took almost a two full years, mm -hmm. and uh, we put the shovel on the ground probably last March or April. So, in a year, we basically were able to get most of the site work done. We still have to do some paving and mm -hmm. a little bit of site work, and. Uh, we started the foundation on the building probably last March and uh, finished it up around uh, November. And it's going to be year-round, right? Yeah, it's 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 year-round now. Um, obviously, there's not as much doing in January and February as there is in July and August. This is a much more fun place to be in the summer than it is in the winter. With you know when it's this cold and with all the snow. Um, but you know during the winter we're obviously a little slower, but that's where we're trying. Um, get into uh, winter projects, whether it's repowering engines or fixing up boats. We usually have uh, a couple of winter projects that keep, up keep us busy, whether it's building docks or, you know, getting prepared for the next busy season. Now I have to ask you about one thing I see in particular on your sign, which is guest dockage. Mm -hmm. So people who, you know, might live out of town, they might even come from Boston, they can come here and dock, is that correct? Yeah, we have um, about 100 slips that we rent out per season. Um, and in addition to that, we have at the head of the pier, which looks out towards World End, we have about 160 feet of guest dockage. And that's available for people that want to swing by for a couple hours and grab dinner at some of the restaurants in town. Or for people that, uh, you know, are cruisers, people that are traveling from other parts of the state or other states that mm -hmm. have. Um, you know, sometimes uh, they go on these cruises for a week or two and they stop at a different marina every night. Or, you know, what we found last year was, um, you know, a lot of people like coming here for a weekend. and They come by on a Friday and stay Friday and Saturday and sometimes Sunday night. And That's once great. they get here, there's a lot for them to do. You know, there's uh, a lot of great restaurants that they can walk to, the beaches across the street. Yep. Um, so there's a lot of amenities, uh, that are, you know, within walking distance of the marina, which makes it more of a uh, compelling place for uh, kind of an out-of-town boater to visit.